today is the one month anniversary for me not drinking alcohol. I feel much more healthier, I didn't have any headaches, and I also didn't wake up any single day in a complete stranger's bed. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Ceren. You can pretend like as if you don't know it, because you know what I mean. Um, I have a, I mean, I know it's hard to pronounce it, my name, for me, because I have a problem with the letter R, and it's just in the middle of my name. So everyone understands it's something else and say it's something else like Seram, Karen, Jeran. But my favorite is Jedi. <laughs> I really don't understand how they really believe my name is Jedi. But maybe they think that I'm capable of doing magic, like Master Yoda. Or they maybe just think that I'm short and ugly. Yeah. Um, I'm from Turkey, and again, pretend like as if you don't know it. Uh, when I tell that I'm from Turkey, when I meet someone, usually I get a reply something like, Oh, I like kebab. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, wow, but I don't like racists. <laughs> and do I look like kebab? Like, what does it mean? Is it a mm, compliment? And they keep asking me questions about President of Turkey, Erdogan. For the ones who don't know him, he's like the Muslim version of Donald Trump, <laughs> but not that rich, you know. Yeah. Uh, so may I hear as a round of applause who are from Turkey today here? Great, welcome. So you may know, and the others may know also if you have Turkish friends, almost all names have a meaning in Turkey. For example, one of the Turkish friends, can I hear like any volunteers from Turkish? Can I hear your name? Sezer. Sezer. <laughs> so does it mean like he feels if we translate? Your name? For the sake of better, better vocabulary, it is intuition. Intuition, yeah, like his name is Intuition. Uh, Anyone uh, else? Uh, <laughs> Any other Turkish friends? My name is Nil. Nil, yeah, I think it's also a bit English, right? Nile means the river. Geography, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> so you are Nile, the river. And I know someone here. Um, My name is Tolga. Sorry? Tolga. Tolga. What does it mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. After the show. We will <laughs> I know there's a girl, her name means kiss. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so her name is kiss, right? Anyway, long story short. My name means also something, it's baby deer, like one <laughs> Yeah, like the whole country is like a children's story. Um, also my name, my last name means cow, fat cow. <laughs> and I was dating with this guy, he was like quite big, like a bear, and his surname was Tiger. <coughs> so I was thinking like we were like a Winnie the Pooh cartoon as a couple. <laughs> But the halal version, <laughs> you know, instead of pig, I was called. <laughs> yeah, speaking of names, how about the names in Luxembourg? Not the Luxembourgish names, but the place names. Probably you've heard cock. <laughs> I'm like, who found this name? It's the National Sports Center. It's like one of the biggest ones in Europe, even probably yeah, in Europe. Um, I go there for swimming. The swimming pool is quite big. It has an Olympic pool. But they also have like another 
so many things in it, so it's quite big and a huge place. <laughs> and I wonder, like, the guy who approved the name, what was his thought process? He was like, checking the options, hmm, hmm. Oh, cook, wow. As, I mean, Luxembourg, we are a small country, but we need a big cook. <laughs> approved. Yeah, going back to Turkey, the name of country also means the animal, Turkey, right? The one they eat in the Thanksgiving. So president decided to change its name. And now it's called Turkey, like in the native language. Um, but no one knows exactly why he changed the name. Probably he didn't want to be called as president of Turkey. It's not a cool job title. But somebody has to tell him you cannot earn respect of other countries by just changing your name. Yeah, so it's uh, almost also like a fashion now when the other countries change their names. I don't know if you have heard already uh, Czech Republic has become Czechia. Uh, Turkey become Turkey. Recently India become Bharat as well. So I think Luxembourg can change its name as well. Um, it's the only Grand Duchy in the European Union, right? But the smallest country also. So, moreover, it has the highest number of super well-paid but super boring jobs. Mm -hmm. That's why I think it should be named as Luxan Boring. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Those boring jobs like accountant, auditor, Grand Duke. <laughs> Um, I think like uh, I cannot judge anyone right being accountant or auditor because I was an IT auditor myself. Um, it's quite difficult to be a Turkish and woman in IT because the competition is fierce between Indians and Indians. <laughs> um, so it's even hard to change your job as a woman in IT. I was having this job interview with the head of Blah Blah recently. He's the middle-aged French man. So everything was going well during the interview until he said, it's time to point out to the elephant in the room. Don't get me wrong. I believe in inclusion and diversity, but how did you come so far as a woman in IT? And I was like, wow, how did you come so far as a human so far, you know? Yeah, at the end they got, uh, they gave me the offer, but of course I didn't accept it. Yeah. And I was working as a manager in uh, one of the big fours. So, working at Big Four. So, I think you also work at Big Four. <laughs> no, I'm pretending like I don't know this. <clears throat> I think working at Big Four is like, a, you know, quite interesting. Let's say, uh, modern slavery. <laughs> uh, it's a bit more dignified version. Then um, to immigrate to Europe, uh, instead of taking votes, you just sign up the contract with Big Four. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I worked there for like four or five years as a uh, manager, and I don't know how I survived that long. Um, probably I like to humiliate myself in front of people, <laughs> all those client meetings. Also. Yeah. Finally, I would like to <clears throat> finish with the last part. I moved to Luxembourg almost two years ago. And after spending all my life in Turkey, which is quite big and crowded place, and every day something, something happens in Turkey. Whereas in Luxembourg, almost nothing happens. Life is extremely slow. Uh, in Turkey, for example, one day you wake up, there is military coup, tanks on the streets, you cannot go out. One day you wake up, there is earthquake, half of the country is erased from the map. One day 
there's inflation rates up to 100%, so you cannot afford the same food that you were buying last month. But fortunately here it's not like that. Uh, but you have to wait for everything. For example, I had to wait for my working permit three, four months, whereas in Turkey it's only three, four days. Then when you start working, uh, you have to wait for the end of your trial period for six months. And then it goes on like that. For example, you wait for the bus, you wait for CNS reimbursement, you wait for your colleague to return from sick leave. <laughs> <laughs> but the biggest shock for me was the dating and dating apps. In Turkey, the same applications like Tinder, Bumble, they really work there. Uh, you match, you say hi, and you start messaging. In the same day, you can already uh, meet for the first date. But here, you match, and then you wait for like one day to say the first hi. Otherwise, you feel a bit creepy. And then the guy also waits another 24 hours to reply to you. And it goes on like that, like one message per day. By the time the Turkish couple gets married, the Luxembourg couple can only decide if they're a couple or not. Yeah, and now I understand why population in Europe decreased. Because no one has sex. It was my time. Thank you.